What's going on guys? Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube, YouTube channel and let's watch some cool videos. Thank you so very much for watching these videos and for subscribing. If you have not done so, if you have not subscribed, do it quickly, do it now. All right, we have uh, Prophetess Patricia Green, Dr. Patricia Green, okay? She's a Trump prophet or Trump prophetess. She has a lot of dreams. God, she claims God gives her a lot of dreams and she prophesies about different things about Israel, but a lot about Trump. And that's what we're going to focus in this video today. We're going to take a look at one prophecy, Trump prophecy, where God gives her this dream and the Holy Spirit interprets this dream. The Holy Spirit gives the interpretation of that dream. It's all about Trump and it's about Trump coming to the White House soon. Let's go to the video. That was the scripture that had come to my mind immediately upon waking from the dream. So we see that Jacob wrestled with God until he blessed him, but his hip was dislocated, with, which caused a permanent limp um, in Jacob. This was a reminder that Jacob was humbled by God, and yet... So here's the context. She reads the scripture about God or an angel wrestling with Jacob. And as you're going to see, that is the... Uh, Trump is having a, in this dream, Trump is having a Jacob moment, okay? And that's how she, she starts with this scripture and she said, this is what comes to mind. And now there is a revelation of this dream. Prevailed and was blessed by God. So in the dream, Donald Trump had a limp which shows that he has been humbled by God and yet has prevailed and is blessed by God. Hallelujah. So now what I want to share with you is... Did you hear that? So Trump has been humbled by God, just like Jacob, okay, who had a problem with a hip after wrestling with an angel. So Trump has been humbled through this process that is because he's, he's going through because he's not in the White House but he will prevail. So this is the Jacob, Jacob moment for Trump, according to, you said it right, prophetess Patricia Green. Are the words that Holy Spirit spoke to me um, regarding the dream. Um, so in essence, the Holy Spirit uh, has interpreted the dream for me. So you hear that. She did not, she did not read a book somewhere or somebody telling her, the Holy Spirit revealed this to her, gave the interpretation that she's about to tell us. It's, it's not, the, this is not, this is divine, okay? The Holy Spirit has come, has given me the clarity of what this vision is, of what this dream is. So a lot of these prophets, they claim, first they use scripture, they'll find a scripture that will justify whatever they are saying so that you know it can be relevant number two they always claim the lord told me so the lord gave me a vision the holy spirit said it the holy spirit revealed this to me and that's what we have here he said this child there will be many pastors who will be angry when donald trump comes back to the office as president these are the pastors who have come against my prophets and called them false prophets. The We've called them false prophets because their words, their prophecy has failed and God did not tell them. They are speaking things that God never said to them. These pastors will have egg on their faces and be angry that they were wrong regarding the prophets. Begrudgingly, they will have to admit that Trump won the election. As for these pastors who have come against me when they came against my prophets, I will deal with them, says... Okay, just listen out to... It's getting worse. So those prophets, those pastors who have come against Trump, 
against this process, against this prophecy or this dream, the Lord say is going to deal with them. And here's how. The Lord. Some I will remove from their churches and some I will permanently remove with death. So some I will remove them from their churches because they've come against me. Because they, why? How did they come against the Lord? Because they went against Trump. They went against the prophecy, which is a false prophecy. And I'll remove them from their churches and I'll kill them, essentially. I'll remove them from their churches. That's what she's saying. God is saying, which is not true. And then he says, like, even from death. Okay, so he's going to remove those. So God is going to take care of those people who are against them. I have already begun this, says the Lord. He continued and said that cowboy boots you saw on President Trump represents his ruggedness and ability to get the job done. What he will be entering when he returns to the White House will require ruggedness and toughness. Pray for strength for President Donald J. Trump, who will be returning to the White House soon, says the Lord. The Lord said, you discern correctly about Donald Trump being like Jacob and wrestling with me, says the Lord. As for the limp you saw in Donald Trump's right leg, he has been wounded, and yet he is still on his feet and moving forward. It will not be a permanent limp like Jacob. He said the bus full of people are Donald Trump supporters who have, who have not wavered that he won the election and that he is... You hear another lie that Trump won the election. He did not. So those Trump supporters in that dream, they are the ones who are not giving up, who always have believed Trump won and all that stuff. And they are in that dream. I chose a man for the presidency, says the Lord. My strategy is to place Trump back into the office of president. The so the strategy God has is to put Trump back in office. Those who come against my strategy will surely lose. I have set the players in motion. I have established key people who will turn this nation around, says the Lord. You hear, you hear people, it's... A false prophecy this was spoken a year ago it has not come back to pass the so-called soon a lot of prophet prophets they say he's gonna come before 2020 2022 some say in 2021 now some are saying before 2024 and yet Trump just announced that he's running for president for presidency again, he wants to be the president again. And I say it in so many videos here that I have here that the prophets were wrong and God did not speak to them that Trump will be reinstated, that Trump is gonna come back before 2024. And I made an argument and I said, in our constitution, we don't have a provision for reinstatement, for reinstating a president. And some even say, oh, oh, your mind is too small. Nothing is impossible with God. They try to misquote the scripture. Okay. And now he's running. So what are you going to do? He has a chance to come back in 2024, but he has to run. He has to be nominated and run and win. Then he can come back. Okay. So not what Patricia is saying, Dr. Patricia she is giving a false prophecy, a false hope to so many of you there that will believe this. Okay? This is not the word from the Lord. This is not the word from the Holy Spirit. It is just a mind. And there is that obsession with Trump. I'm not sure what he has done to them, but they are so obsessed, even to the, to the extent of lying and claiming God told them that he's going to come back is going to return. So tell me what you guys think. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.